Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 12.9 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 12.9 is called Problem Solving Elapsed Time. So today we're going to be learning about how much time it takes to do certain things, how to figure out how much time it took somebody to do something. That's what elapsed time means, how much time has gone by from the start until the finish. So we're going to just go through the Unlock the Problem on page 479. We're also going to do page 480. So if you're in my class, you should have your big book, page 479 and 480, as, we're, as you're following along. All right, so the problem says Dora and her brother Kyle spent one hour and 35 minutes doing yard work. That's how long they were out there. Then they stopped for lunch at 1.20 p.m. At what time did they start doing yard work? So we're going to have to go backwards from 1.20 p.m. We're going to have to go backwards one hour and 35 minutes. So we're going to fill in this graphic organizer to help us think about the process of solving this. What do I need to find? I need to find the time that Dora and Kyle started their yard work. What information do I need to use? I need to use the elapsed time Remember, I said elapsed time is how much time they spent doing something. So in this problem, it will be one hour and 35 minutes. And I also need to use the time that they stopped for lunch. Which in this problem is 1.20 p.m. How will I use the information? Well, to start off with, I'm going to draw a timeline to help me count backwards and find the start time. So we're going to use a timeline now. Normally, you don't have to use a timeline. You can just do a subtraction problem. But the timeline helps when you're first learning. So it says, I draw a timeline that shows the end time, 1.20 p.m., Next, I count backwards one hour. So back from 120 would be 1220. So I land right there at 1220. And then I've got to go back five minutes at a time until I'm up to 35 minutes. So 520 would be 515, 505. Whoops, I'm sorry. If we're going back five minutes from 1220, 1215, 1210, 1205, 12, and then 1155, 1150, 1145. So you can see on the timeline they started at 1145 a.m. So if you were at up, adding up all these little hops, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 minutes, it would be the extra 35 minutes that we had up here in our problem. So we know now that they started their yard work at 11.45 a.m. Now the tricky part here comes with making sure you get the AM and the PM right. As soon as we landed back here at 12 noon, it changes from AM to, I mean, sorry, from PM to AM. So we have to make sure that we're changing that AM to PM if we need to. The other tricky part is when you're at an hour, so that means it has no numbers after the hour. You go back, the next five minutes would be 55 from the previous hour, which would be 11. Okay, let's try another one. This is page 480. It says Ben started riding his bike at 10.05 a.m. So that's when he started. 
He stopped 23 minutes later. So this time, it sounds like we're going to add instead of subtract. So he stopped 23 minutes later when his friend Robbie asked him to play kickball. At what time did Ben stop riding his bike? What do I need to find first? What time Ben stopped riding his bike? What time Ben stopped writing? What inf information do I need to use? I need to use his start time. and the elapsed time. So in other words, how many, how long he was writing for. So the start time is 10.05, the elapsed time is 23 minutes. How will I use the information? I'm going to do a timeline to count forward this time. So you really need to read these problems good to understand if they're asking you to go forwards or backwards in time. All right, so my start time it said was 10.05, so I'm gonna put my first dot here at 10.05, and then I'm gonna hop forward 23 minutes. I'm gonna do this by counting by tens. So, 10, 20, and then three minutes. One, two, three. So I'm landing right here on my number line. So if this landing right here was at 10.15, this one will be 10.16, this one will be 10.17, this one will be 10.18. So 10.18, is the time that Ben stopped riding his bike. And I wanna look and see if it's a.m. or p.m. We're talking a.m. here. So he stopped riding his bike at 10.18 a.m. All right, so this is elapsed time, lesson 12.9. If you have any questions, leave me a message.